I'd like to talk to you about water hammer. Water hammer is a condition that causes banging in pipes, and I know you've all heard it. Basically what happens with water hammers, as we've got water moving down a pipeline, if we rapidly close some valve in that pipeline shutting off the flow of water, that creates a reverberation. And the way to think about it is the water moving down the pipeline, it's got mass and density, it's moving along at a pretty good clip, and all of a sudden we put a valve into a rapidly closed position, that column of water hits the closed valve, reverberates backwards, causing the pipes to bang and shake. So again, I'm sure you've all heard that condition. Well, the best thing to do to mitigate water hammer is to slow down the closure speed of any valve that's creating that water hammer condition. But many times that's not possible. For example, flush valves, they tend to close fairly rapidly and they can create a water hammer condition. So in those cases where we can't close, uh, should slow down the closure speed of any uh, particularly fast closing valve, we'll have to mitigate that water hammer condition with what we call a water hammer arrestor. Now here, we're in a different location than we usually film our videos. We're in our display room. Uh, we've got clear walls behind us so that we could showcase some of the products that we manufacture here at Zern. One of the things that we do manufacture are water hammer arresters. You can see the copper tube back behind me on that cold water line. Water hammer arresters are made to mitigate that banging of the pipes caused by the water hammer condition. Now to give you an idea of what a water hammer arrestor looks like, internally it has a piston that's sealed against the copper pipe with a couple of O-rings. Above the piston there's a charge of air and below the piston it's exposed to the plumbing water. When the shock wave moves by the water hammer arrestor, the shock wave moves into the arrestor causing the piston to rise and compress the air. And as that compression occurs, that's eating up the energy of that shock caused by the quick closing valve. Once that energy is eaten up, the piston simply relaxes and it waits for water hammer to occur again. So water hammer arresters, again, they're relatively simple. They don't require any charging or any maintenance of any nature. In fact, they can be installed inside of a sealed wall. There's no need to have an access panel for them. With respect to sizing of water hammer arresters, they're sized based upon the fixture units that we're going to protect against from the water hammer condition. So in other words, each quick closing valve has a fixture unit rating. We add all of those fixture units up on a given line and size the water hammer arrestor to handle the shock of those given fixture units. In the event that we're not dealing with a typical flush valve or other valve that causes quick closure and water hammer effects, say for instance we're in an irrigation system, Water hammer arresters can also be sized based upon the pressure in the line and the length of the pipe run. So again, two ways to size them to, in order to get them correctly sized to solve that water hammer and the banging of pipes, that condition that we hear, we feel, we see, we want to stop it because it can be very detrimental to the plumbing system. I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more product information or to speak to a customer care representative, please visit our website at zern.com.